Hello, hello, hello kids! It's Saturday again and I know you're already excited because we sing songs, we listen to stories, we memorize verses here at Go Kids, right? We want to thank all the children who are memorizing our verses and sending their videos to us. And also we would like to thank the parents who are so helpful and partnering with us in discipling the next generation. We are so joyful to be here with you again. Are you joyful too? If you are, let's start our worship online. But before that, let's ask God's guidance as we learn our lesson for today. Dear God, we praise and thank you for giving us another day to live. And thank you, dear Lord, that we can worship you online through Go Kids. Thank you, dear Father, because we know you will speak to us today. Prepare our hearts for the lesson you want us to learn. In Jesus' name, Amen. Come on, stand up and let's sing praises to our God. disciples went across the Sea of Galilee. Hello! Many people followed him because they saw the miracles he did to heal the sick. Jesus went up on a hill and there sat down with his followers. The large crowd listened all day to his teaching and to his stories. They listened until it was near the end of the day and they were getting hungry. Jesus said to Philip, Where can we buy bread for all these people to eat? Jesus asked Philip this question to test him. Jesus already knew what he planned to do. And then, Philip said, Someone would have to work almost a year to buy enough bread for each person here. Another follower who was there was Andrew. He was Simon Peter's brother. Andrew said to Jesus, 
Here is a boy with five loaves of bread and two fish. But that is not enough for so many people. Tell the people to sit down. This is a very grassy place. There were about 5,000 people who sat down there. Then Jesus took the loaves of bread and the fish. He thanked God for the food and gave it to the people who were sitting there. He gave them as much as they wanted. They all had enough to eat. When they had finished, Jesus said to his followers, Gather the pieces of fish and bread that were not eaten. Don't waste anything. So they gathered up the pieces that were left. They filled twelve large baskets with the pieces that were left of the five loaves of bread. The people saw this miracle that Jesus did. They said that Jesus must truly be the prophet who is coming to the world. When Jesus was sitting and talking to that big crowd of people and saw that they were so hungry, he didn't let them find their own food. Jesus was kind, generous, and he cared about their needs. God cares and loves us too. He provided our greatest need which is the eternal life through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died on the cross, was buried, raised on the third day, and promised to come back and take those who trusted and believed in Him. If you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior yet, now is the time. Open your heart and receive the gift of salvation. Let God do wonders in your life. Wow! What an amazing story you have shared to me. Jesus is the real God and He never failed to take care of all our needs. Yes, don't worry because God will provide our food for today. Look, there's so much food in here. My auntie and my uncle also cook food and brought food for us. Yes, let's thank the Lord because He provided our needs. Our Bible verse for today is John 6, 35b. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall never hunger. One more time, kids. John 6, 35b. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall never hunger. One last time, kids. John 6, 35b. And Jesus said unto them, We are so happy to know that at your very young age, you already know how to memorize verses. And we believe God is happy to. So start memorizing our verse for today and send us your videos. Let's recap. What is our lesson for today? That's right! You are so attentive! So share what you've learned to your friends and also don't forget to invite them to worship with us online here at Go Kids! Let's thank the Lord for today. Come, let's pray. Dear God, we praise and thank you for the wonderful story that we've heard today. And thank you so much, dear Father, because you will help us to apply it in our lives. Thank you, Lord. We love you. In Jesus' name, Amen. So kids, see you next week. Goodbye.